Good morning, everybody. It's a lovely, sort of lovely morning here in, uh, where are we? Novorossiysk. Just south of the southernmost extremity of Ukraine. Sitting in a KA-50 co-actual helicopter from the glorious mother Russia. And now, we're going to turn it on. Two batteries, two fuel pumps, one APU fuel valve, one rotor brake, one start button, one hydraulic switch, one door, a little bit of lighting, A couple of switch covers. Okay, more than a couple. Um, one computer. One standby attitude indicator. One 486DX4 with uh, not a lot of memory. An EDGA video controller. Memories. Memories. One fire suppression system. One fuel gauge. Why I have to flip a switch to turn on my fuel gauge, I don't know. That seems really dumb. But hey. One master caution light. Shut up. And then... We can start up an engine, we just have to give it fuel. So apparently in Russia, when your fuel shutoff valve is on, it is actually not shutting off fuel flow, it is allowing fuel flow. Which makes perfect sense, apparently. We'll turn on all of our radios and data links. Test our bitching Rita. Ekran is ready. Good for you. In the United States, we call her Betty. In Russia, they call her Rita. We'll set our standby attitude indicator. Double check, number one has fuel and then its governor is on. I don't know why I should have to turn the governor on and off on startup, but apparently do. <clears throat> Open up another fuel cutoff valve. There are two. We'll start number one. Check the APU load. Watch the temperature and RPM and oil temperature and oil pressure. And we will adjust our magnetic deviance gauge. Yeah, that's, you heard me. It's a magnetic deviance gauge. This is to compensate for magnetic variances in the Earth's gravity and magnetic field based on your location. Manual says for this region, we compensate five degrees or 5% or whatever the hell that is. Which um, I've never seen before in an aircraft. But hey, this thing was originally conce conceptualized, conceived in the late 70s. It wasn't actually finished until 2004. Your country collapsing will do that. Turn on our IFF. Number one looks happy. Go to number two. Start that. Looks like our computer is booted up and is mostly alive. For a 486, this thing ain't bad. The map is pretty handy. It uh, draws a line, or it can actually if I do that. The map will read current position coordinates, store them, and then it will tell me 
where I've gone, and how to get back. Which is pretty handy. Especially for me. Helicopters are new to me. Alright, everybody looks good. Turn on our AC generators. Turn off our APU. Shut off its fuel. We will arm our autopilot and then we will arm our ejection seat. Why in the world I have to arm three switches? That's for weapons. Three switches, six circuit tests. One, two, three, four, five, six. That means that all six rotor blades will fly off away from the aircraft with the use of explosive bolts. in the event that I pull the ejection seat handle. The alternative is getting your head cut off and chopped into salami on the way up. Hydraulics. Waiting for countermeasure system to boot up. Pedo heat. It is above freezing outside. We'll turn on dust protection for the moment. This right here is your text messaging control panel. You can send messages to other KA-50 pilots. You can send them targets and numeric messages. You cannot, however, send them nasty text messages like you can in the A-10. Governors are on. Lights are on. Navigation system is live. Fire system is armed. Ejection system is armed. Everything is on. Our radio bank. Go ahead and arm our gun sight. Helmet. Wait for that for a second. Watch the ground. We've advanced the throttles to automatic from idle. Notice the uh, high tech Russian warning system tells you to. It doesn't tell you what's wrong, it tells you to look at the warning screen. Super helpful. Helmet sight looks good. Laser is off. We're not going to use that today. All looks good. Fuel looks good. Take off the parking brake. We're ready to fly. Now, when I say fly, it's kind of a relative term. Helicopters are very new to me. This whole concept of no wings. Um, so basically, be prepared to laugh. Apparently this helicopter, by default, will uh, fall on its ass when you give a collective. I'm told that's normal. The click you're hearing is, or if you, I don't know if you can hear that, but the click that you might have just heard is the automatic, well it's not automatic, it sort of is. Uh, I just contradicted myself, but that's the trimmer. You basically have to trim in a whole bunch of forward cyclic to get going. Anywhere. You also have to hold right pedal, otherwise known as right rudder, but there really isn't any rudder here. Right anti torque to keep it flying straight. If you want it to go straight, that is. I have yet to master the whole art of uh, getting this thing to go exactly where I want it to go. So, right now, me flying this thing is basically, you know, a stone drunk dude shuffling around in his medicine cabinet looking for his Vicodin after a long night of drinking. Shoving his key into the car door. 
desperately trying to get home, only to remember that it's the 21st century, and he has a wireless remote. There's my go home line on the navigation computer. That's really handy. Never seen that before in any of these simulated military aircraft, but that is pretty cool. Getting lost is easy to do, but thankfully, not with your trusty uh, former Soviet Union era 486. Yeah, remember that drunk, that drunk guy part I was talking about? That's that's right now. It's all part of the show. Stopping the helicopter, that's not the hard part. Stopping is not difficult. You can stop. Well, I, I mean, you can, I, I'm sure somebody else can stop precisely. It's the precisely thing that I have absolutely not mastered in any way at all. Like, ever. You can kind of like look where you want to go and, and desperately fumble with the controls to go there but you probably won't ever end up there so at least for now I just kind of stab in the dark and just street fighter it and fumble with keys and joystick inputs and collective inputs until I get where I want to go if you could be standing on the ground right now, this would be pretty much the most priceless thing ever. Everyone have their cell phone out. Look at this fucking idiot! Look at the drunk helicopter pilot. He's going backwards in a circle. That's right. Totally professional. Totally. No problem. I bet we could land here. Safely, well, maybe, yeah, yeah, there we go, okay. Just before the tarmac ends, yeah, just before, right, right, ugh! Just like that. Totally pro, right? Totally pro. Yeah, so, a lot, a little bit of work there, need some work. We're Mexican today! Fuerza Area Mexicana!